A superluminous nova explosion has captivated astronomers in the small Magellanic Cloud, one of our Milky Way's closest neighboring galaxies. This nova didn't just impress with its brightness. It also sparked essential questions about the conditions that create such intense and short-lived outbursts in specific stellar environments. In this video, we'll explore what this event means for our understanding of the cosmos, why it's such a breakthrough, and the valuable insights it offers into the evolution of stars and galaxies. The nova observed in the small Magellanic Cloud is more than just a bright explosion. It offers a rare glimpse into an unusual binary star system. At the heart of this cosmic event is a white dwarf, a dense, burnt-out remnant of a star, paired with a younger, hotter companion star surrounded by a disk of material. This particular system, known as CXOU, is one of only a few similar systems documented so far, making it a valuable discovery in the study of rare stellar pairs. Binary star systems featuring both a white dwarf and a young, hot companion star are scarce. Astronomers have only identified a few across the observable universe. This type of pairing provides a unique opportunity to study material transfer between stars. As the white dwarf draws in mass from its companion, the buildup of material on its surface can eventually trigger thermonuclear reactions. These reactions resemble massive hydrogen bomb explosions, producing an intense burst of light and energy detectable over great distances. Given the expected abundance of such systems, astronomers believe more examples likely exist. But their rarity in our observations makes each discovery significant. Studying these pairs in nearby galaxies like the small Magellanic Cloud allows us to better understand these rare systems and refine our methods for detecting them in more distant galaxies. By identifying the conditions that produce these superluminous events, scientists hope to deepen our understanding of star life cycles across the cosmos and uncover patterns that might otherwise go unnoticed. This nova's explosion was not only exceptionally bright, but also unusually short-lived. While most nova events remain visible for several weeks with a steady decline in brightness, this particular outburst was visible in optical wavelengths for less than a week and detectable in X-rays for just under two weeks before it dimmed beyond the reach of telescopes like the Neil Garrels Swift Observatory. What explains this brief yet intense flare? As material from the companion star accumulated on the white dwarf, pressure and temperature built until they ignited a thermonuclear reaction. This sudden explosion released a superluminous burst of energy, much like a short-lived cosmic flare. The rapid decline in brightness likely reflects the swift depletion of accumulated material, which dissipated nearly as quickly as it ignited. Comparing this nova's behavior with other novae, scientists observed that it was both significantly brighter and shorter-lived than most. These characteristics provide important clues about the underlying physics of such outbursts, such as the density and composition of material from the companion star and its interaction with the white dwarf's magnetic field. Events like these open up new avenues for understanding why certain white dwarf binaries produce powerful yet short-lived nova flares, while others have more moderate, prolonged luminosity. The event's rapid fade out by mid-June also underscores the importance of quick follow-up observations to fully capture the scope of such brief but spectacular explosions. The accumulation of material from the companion star reaches a point where pressure and temperature trigger a thermonuclear explosion, though factors such as the density of accreted material and the white dwarf's magnetic field can affect the explosion's behavior. High-density accretion may lead to intense, rapid flares, while slower rates could produce longer-lasting, less dramatic events. Understanding these variables is essential to clarifying why only a few white dwarf binaries exhibit this superluminous behavior. The intense bursts of radiation from superluminous novae also impact nearby planetary systems. 
These explosions can strip atmospheres from planets in close proximity, affecting their habitability. Additionally, the redistribution of energy and material in the nova's surroundings may influence planetary conditions, potentially impacting the development of life. This astrobiological angle provides an intriguing link between stellar evolution and planetary habitability, illustrating how the life cycles of stars can affect the environments of nearby worlds. Superluminous novae also play a vital role in cosmic recycling. During these explosions, heavy elements synthesized in the white dwarf's core are expelled into space, enriching the interstellar medium with essential elements like carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. Each nova thus contributes to the cosmic flow of matter, linking individual stellar deaths to the larger story of element formation across galaxies. This process of cosmic recycling helps shape the chemical composition of galaxies, forming building blocks essential for life and new star systems. This nova, only the second of its kind ever recorded, expands our limited catalog of ultra-bright novae and allows astronomers to refine their classification of binary star systems. With more data on these events, scientists can create predictive models to identify and study similar phenomena, advancing our understanding of white dwarf binaries and stellar evolution. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more updates on the wonders of our universe. Remember, every discovery brings us a step closer to understanding the mysteries that lie beyond our stars. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting space content.